Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Love and Marriage Huntsville, season six or seven, episode 27 or 12, whatever your TV say, okay? Peace before the stormy. And let's go ahead and get into it real quick before we do. If you're new here, if you're not new here, either way, if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy this video and this type of content, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. It's a growing channel. And I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I can't do it without your help, okay? It's much appreciated. Watch the video on through. Check out my other free content. And let's get into this Love and Marriage Hunts film. Now, I've been saying for weeks, not only do I think we can wrap the season up, I don't even care about the cast trip no more. I just want to skip to the reunion. I think we can just wrap up the series. Like, I think it's time, it's run its course. It's time to just hang it up flat screen. It's time to call it quits. Throw it in the towel. If y'all ain't going to give us nothing else, I, I, I'm I tired. Okay, truth is, I'm tired. And even with the fleshes, it's let it go. But okay, we here now. So the Scots 2.0 are arguing with Brother Makai, that's um, Marty's brother, over the renovations uh, I guess in their office or one of their building something. Kimmy thought that Maurice was a handyman and is frustrated that he's not being handy. Like she's saying pretty much that he sold her this dream that he was going to be a handyman working with his hands around fixing stuff up. She ain't, they ain't got to call somebody to come fix things. Don't got to call a plumber and all that because he can do it. Maurice said uh, he ain't never wanted to fix nothing before they got married. Girl, act like you know. Are you new? <laughs> Child, you've been with him for like a decade almost before you got married to him. He said he's a lawyer. Me personally, he might have fixed some stuff, you know. He might have did uh, a little yang, yang, yang around the house, but that's it. Child, you knew what it was when you signed up. <laughs> okay. So Kimmy talks about her yoni steam and her libido. Enough enough already. I don't want to hear about it no more. I don't care. Matter of fact, she bringing it up again. I ain't bringing it up because I, I, I'm tired. Okay, truth is I'm tired. So, <laughs> give me mentions Tisha because, you know, nothing stays between the ladies ever. Now, no couples we pillow talking, but we really could have left this out, but, you know, we got to bring up this fake storyline. Obviously, in my opinion, and y'all let me know, y'all, Tisha taking this pregnancy test must have been for a storyline. Nothing else really makes sense. Um, She brings up the, the pregnancy test. Maurice is shy because he like him and Marcel went together and got they got they selves nipped. So ain't no way. Even if it didn't work, I don't know. They feel like the chances are very slim. Okay. Kimmy tells Maurice not to tell Marcel. He said he ain't. He make a joke about her going to Africa like Corny, booze, tomatoes. Moving on. So, Stormy meets with Tisha. This whole episode was filler. And when I say I was struggling to, like, keep my eyes open and off my phone. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. So, she asks if Tisha spoke to Kiki since the barbecue. Of course not, Greg. You know, they didn't. You already talked to Kiki. You playing both sides. <laughs> so... Tisha still feels like Kiki is using. She, you know, she she thinks she on that stuff. Um, you know, uh, Stormy doesn't think that's fair. That's right to make that suggestion. This y'all keep acting like this ain't Tisha. Cause this is Tisha's cousin. Tisha know Kiki, so maybe she knows something we don't. I know she took that test, but it also says she wasn't on. Um, methadone or whatever, and she was sweating like a pig wrapped up in a hot, sweaty blanket last week. So the same, and she said, you know I'm on it. So the test said that she wasn't, but she said she was. I don't know what to believe. I ain't counting nothing out, okay? <laughs> I ain't counting nothing out. I hope she's not, but I wouldn't be surprised if she was. So Tisha asked about Courtney. They're talking about how the kids. Nobody cares. Stormy asked Tisha for an apology for Tisha, uh, you know, with the policy stealing situation, <laughs> that little mishap that happened unintentionally. Tisha blaming everybody else, her assistant and whoever else. And she refuses to apologize. And I'm like, why wouldn't you apologize? It don't matter who else you blame. This is your business and you should have proofread it. Trash behavior. Now, in the moment, Stormy wasn't mad, but later on, I guess... You know, Stormy had time to think about it and it started to fester and then she got mad. We'll get there. 
So Chris and Nell meet up to discuss Chris Jr. Miss Nell says she's sick of him. She is sick of that child, that grown child. I do like seeing her with her natural hair. Um, Chris Fletcher mentions counseling. He said he's really concerned about his son. And he had to say it about 50, 11 times before Nell was like, you know what, fine. If that's how you feel, we could go to counseling. I ain't going to mention the money no more. I'm going to let it go. So I guess we'll see him and see them going to counseling. <clears throat> Kimmy invites, and hopefully they'll bring back that old counselor. What was his name? Uh, Dr. It's, it's been slipping my mind. I haven't seen him enough. Y'all know who. Bring him back. Anyway. So Kimmy invites Tisha and Mel out for pedicures. And Mel's like, I don't really need one because my toes stay done. Uh, everybody else's toes look like they was done too, girl. Nobody cares. It's just something to do. <laughs> they there because they have to film together. That's it. That's all. So Tisha says uh, she didn't tell. She tells Kimmy she didn't tell Marcel about the pregnancy test. Um, but she gonna tell him later. Anyway, Kimmy questions why Mel didn't invite her to the name change ceremony. And Mel was like, well, if I would have invited you or even Tisha, I would have had to invite your husbands. And it would have been a whole thing. They're friends with Marcel. It's just a whole thing. And girl, I hear what you're saying, but you invited the Fletchers, who are also friends with Marcel. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little messy. But um, when will y'all understand? Y'all are just Melody's co-workers. That's it. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Y'all should know that by now. Y'all been. Nobody on this cast has been or uh, ever will be her friends, even the Fletchers. I feel like they are friends of right now, and that's it. Um, Kimmy questioned Mel about how she feels about not having the same last name as her children, and you know she don't feel no way. You think she cares? She wants to free herself from that whole name, okay? That's they daddy, not hers. Kimmy also said um, she had moved her maiden name to her middle name. For that reason, because she wanted to still be able to, I guess, have the same last name as her child. My dad's wife, his current wife did that. Not my mother. She was married to my mother as well. But his current wife did that. And I, I never understood. To me, it was silly. Like, why not just hyphenate your name? I didn't understand. But okay. It, clearly, it's a common thing. Um, Kimmy said that in the past... She said this before, like on a different episode, that she gave her son Jalen her last name, not his father's, because I guess she, she cares so much about the last name thing. Girl, you were still a single mother nonetheless. That didn't make you any less of a single mom. And then it was just like, why he don't got... Because, you know, I'll be looking when, when somebody don't got their father last name, I'll be like, what's that about? Is the father involved? What's going on? <laughs> so... Um, and now she's married to Marie, so they still don't got the same last name. So what's the whole... Anyway, Kimmy mentioned stereotypes in the Black community with children having different last names than their mother. I remember my father made a big old deal with my son when he was born about him. My son is actually a junior. So he was, and he was like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have given him his last name. You're going you're gonna to have issues when he goes to school. You'll see. Child, my son is almost 12. He's in sixth grade. I ain't never had an issue his entire life, <laughs> ever. <laughs> not when he was in daycare, not now, not when he's signing up for basketball and extracurricular activities. Never. I never had an issue. Now, I was watching the Brandy Yvonne's channel, and she said as a educator, like, they know this, and sometimes they be judgy. Judge your mother. <laughs> <laughs> things happen. People get married. People get divorced. People get married. They be married and still don't have the same last name like Stormy and Courtney. So, so <clears throat> either way, uh, listen, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't If I want to change my name back, I'm changing my name back. I don't blame Melody at all. Um, Mel politely told Kimmy her and her son don't have the same last name, girl. So move around, carry on. Listen, I see what she's saying about the having the same last name and people judging. People get too hang up, hung up on people judging them. I don't know if I don't want to be tied to Martel's last name no more as Melody. I'm not. <laughs> like, listen, my children have their father's last name. We were married. It doesn't take away that she was married to him. It doesn't change anything. Kimmy didn't marry. She didn't get married. Kimmy never got married until her son was about grown. Her son was grown. So, girl, anyway. Tisha mentions Melody um, saying that she felt like Tisha had an issue with her specifically at the comeback group. Like Tisha was sitting there on mute until Melody had something to say at that comeback group initiative. And all of a sudden, Tisha had so much to say. And she did. Tisha claims it wasn't like that. 
Kimmy was like, well, now that everything's squared away, y'all can unblock each other on social media. They both was like, nah, I ain't doing that. She did. She's staying blocked. They fine with it. We leaving it as is because we really ain't friends. Mel was like, we cool in real life. We don't got to unblock each other. No, y'all ain't cool in real life. And that's why y'all won't unblock each other. So Stormy and Courtney are at the pool table. Got a little game going on. They invited the Scots 1.0 for a date night. But Stormy said that the Scots 1.0 were an hour and a half late. And that is disrespectful. And I'm a late person. I know people don't like late people. So y'all wouldn't like me. I, I am always like late, but I feel like anything later than like 15, 20 minutes is ridiculous. An hour and a half late. Don't even show up. That's absurd. Courtney mentions to Marcel um, that he had the issue with him calling him Stormy's last name. Stormy and Courtney don't wear wedding rings. They have different last names. If they didn't tell me, I wouldn't have known they was married. But Marceau said, uh, you ain't have you had a problem with that, but you ain't have a problem with your wife calling me a BIT. Help me to understand. And well, I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day. Marceau has a very valid point. Help me to understand as well. So Tisha finally speaks up and said, Oh, it's disrespectful to be calling somebody out their name. Girl, too little, too late, but I guess. Stormy said that she feels like, she said in her confessional, like, she feels like he is a B-word. But out of respect for his boundaries, she won't say it again. Girl, girl, you don't respect him. That's why you call him that. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Stormy said that Marceau could have addressed her. No, he couldn't have. Because everybody quick to jump on here. Women shouldn't be addressing a man. A man should be talking to a man. Men should be dealing with men and staying out of women's business. And no, no, he shouldn't have. He did the right thing. He addressed your husband. And he didn't even get as disrespectful as you did. But what did you expect for him to do? Allow you to call him out of his name and not say anything? What did you expect? He ain't married to you. He don't got to tolerate this. <laughs> so Marcel was like, look, I'll just ignore you. And Stormy was like, no, you don't ignore people. That's disrespectful. But calling a man the B word ain't. And I've called uh, many a men <laughs> the B word out of, in a heated uh, discussion, but it's disrespectful nonetheless. It's still disrespectful. It don't take away the fact that it's disrespectful. Um, she was like, that's that's ridiculous. That's disrespectful. That's why Tisha got a drink thrown in her face. Like, how Tisha catch that stray? <laughs> so Tisha, like, okay, she's taking shots. She, okay, I see she really don't like me like that. Because Tisha, uh, not Tisha, uh, Stormy was talking cash ish in that confessional. She was, you know, going back to her old ways. And I understand. I mean, we're not apologizing with the whole policy thing. She, a simple apology could have just squashed all that. I don't think it was that deep, though. But then y'all being late, y'all don't respect my time. Like, y'all don't respect nothing. I don't know. They just don't like each other. And that's it. But Stormy, that was low. And ignoring somebody does not warrant getting a drink thrown in your face. Nothing more that Tisha did. Ever warrants hit Kiki throwing that drink. Kiki was unhinged in that moment. And them saying all that stuff about her using, I would have been saying the same thing. You don't th I would have been saying that and doing much worse, trust me. Okay. Y'all would have still, we would have been moving furniture around. Y'all would have still been pulling me up off of Tisha to this day. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. Um, Stormy walks off because she's annoyed. We can leave with a to be continued. Carlos. Car Stop doing this to be continued at the end of the episode. It's getting to my nerves. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this lackluster episode. It was giving filler. Finally, we getting closer to this cash trip. Let's get it done and over with. Y'all let me know what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.